told you Josh Turner was going to come by and visit with us this morning here on 6.50 a.m. WSM. And if you go to CambriaStyle.com, cover boy, Josh Turner. Now, who is the beloved American icon? You or the Grand Ole Opry? The way they've got it worded here, it could play either way. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's just open to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, it, they actually did a, a really great job on the article. Um, most of it is is kind of just spotlighting the Opry, um, mainly because, you know, obviously we had a terrible flood last year that uh, nearly destroyed the Opry, and in a lot of ways it did. But um, I tell people, you know, a lot of times that I think the flood, to me anyway, was kind of a blessing in disguise. You know, it, obviously it was terrible at the time, but when – Everybody kind of banded together and came together and, and put their their money and their effort and their time into it to basically you know get it back up and running and to just give it a facelift. I mean, this place is you know if you haven't been to the Opry, especially backstage to the backstage area, it is absolutely phenomenal. And Cambria uh, is one of those companies that uh, lended their hand uh, and their product um, to help make. You know the backstage area and, and and the Opry what it is now. You know post flood. Mm-hmm. Um, you know so it is an icon and it it has withstood the test of time. And um, you know I'm, I'm proud to say that I was able to you know lend my my face and my talent to you know uh, highlighting that and, and and shedding some light on that. Cambria style. It's the winter 2012 edition on the cover. Cover boy Josh Turner. That's a great looking shot of you, by the way. And uh, there's a contest. Give us the details. And this runs through the spring, through March 31st. A meet and greet with you and all kinds of neat things. I don't have many of the details you have. I have them all here if you don't. But uh, people get a chance to to meet you and be a part of some neat things related to the Opry and Cambria. We kind of tried to, you know, create some sort of sweepstakes, you know, with this thing and, and do a little contest and, um, you know, that basically we're going to fly some people in to come and actually get to see uh, the Opry with their own eyes and get to see what I'm talking about and, and see what Cambria has helped to do there at the Opry. Um, they obviously get to, you know, come and meet me while I'm playing there at the Opry and um, who knows, we might even feed them too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're actually playing the Opry tomorrow, uh, the Tuesday night Opry. Yep. And uh, yep. I was just looking at the lineup. Let's see. There's John Connolly and James Otto and Little Jim, Adele McCurry, Gene Shepard, Randy Hauser, Heidi Newfield, and the finale, Josh Turner on this week's Tuesday Night Opry. Mm-hmm. Back at the Ryman, and it's going to be a good time. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about Alan Jackson in this year's class, along with Kix Brooks and a number of other notables, Les Paul posthumously getting a star in the Walk of Fame. And you got a star in the Walk of Fame not, not yeah. too long ago, didn't you? Not too long ago, and you were there, and, and you know, it's just, uh, it's still kind of hard to believe that uh, they decided to give me one this early. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, you know, it, it's a huge honor um, to have that there because, you know, I've had many, many a person remind me, hey, that's going to be there for a really long time. And, yeah. And they're right. And then anybody that comes walking through downtown Nashville and, you know, peruses the Hall of Fame and, you know, walks out there in that courtyard, you know, is going to see, um, you know, all those stars, one of which is mine. And, and that's, like I said, that's a huge honor. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've worked really hard to, to earn it. But like I said, at the induction ceremony, I'm going to continue, you know, from, from this day forward to continue to earn that star. Josh Turner, if you just joined us, Coffee Country and Cody on 6.50 a.m. WSM. So when folks are in from your hometown of Hannah, South Carolina, do you kind of, in taking them downtown to Lower Broadway and all the attractions and music, maybe a concert at Bridgestone Arena, the Country Music Hall of Fame, that sort of thing, do you just kind of anonymously ease them down the star walk there on the Music City Walk of Fame? And, oh, look, Josh, <laughs> come on, be honest, be honest about it now. Yeah, you know, when I walk them through there, they're, I, I don't really say anything about the star, but they notice it, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's been there for a while. <laughs> I love it. Congratulations. Let's see. You were the most played song with Why Don't We Just Dance. It's been a year or so ago. And then I look up, and after the ASCAP celebration last week during CMA week, um, 
All Over Me, one of ASCAP's top five most played songs of 2011. And Josh Turner, fourth number one single, All Over Me, honored as BMI Song of the Year. So you're winning in both camps, buddy. Yeah, I tell you, you know, it's been uh, it's been quite a year. You know, both of those songs really just, uh, you know, just it, it's wild. They kind of came out of nowhere. You know, why don't we just dance? Came to me before I was even ready to make a record, and you know, but I I knew that it was a, you know a song that was good enough, you know, to where I didn't want to let it go. Um, so obviously, you know, I was very pleased that you know it did so well, and and then all over me it. Uh, my my head of A and R over the label just kind of casually emailed it to me and didn't say anything about it. You know, didn't have any comments in the email. He just sent it to me. And I'm like, man, this is a this is a fun song and and really different from anything I'd ever done. And so uh, you know, obviously, you know, back to back number ones and you know, winning all kinds of awards. So I'm, I'm, I was very excited about all that. And what a trio of writers: Ben Hayslip, Dallas Davidson, and Red Akins. And they had equally big weeks last week in the writer world, didn't they? Yes, they did. You know, they they've been on quite a roll, and you know, I was honored to uh, you know cut one of their songs, and um, you know, it just uh, it, it's it's funny too because they it, when when the song was pitched to me, it was just you know any, anybody that knows music uh, will understand this, but when it was pitched to me, it just had two chords. It was just one of those two chord songs, which is kind of rare, mm-hmm. you know, and and kind of hard to write in some ways, but. I, I thought that was really interesting about it. Um, obviously, when we took it in the studio, we had to add one more because, um, you know, two chords in the truth didn't sound quite the same as three <laughs> chords in the truth. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, and I, I have to, you know, take credit that, you know, I was the one who added the, the third chord, but I, I wasn't really the guy. So. <clears throat> Josh Turner, 650 AM WSN. Well, the weatherman says it's going to be a hot one.